Hi everybody, today uh, I'm at Street Fest Brooklyn Park Slope right now and I'm going to ask a few of my neighbors about Tibet and let's see, let's find out like what they know about Tibet and uh, being a Tibetan, uh, I think this is a small contribution for my nation to let other people know that what is Tibet. Hi, I have a one question. Yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about Tibet? Do I know anything about Tibet? In what way? Uh, Tibet, Tibetan people, whatever. Do you know anything? Not so much. Uh, I haven't learned a lot. I, I mean, I use singing bowls and that, that's about it. Yeah. Tibet uh, is an independent nation. Mm -hmm. Occupied by China in 1959. Yeah. Forcefully. After that, Tibetan people have been refugees all over the world. Yeah, yeah, no. Yes, that that I know. Refugees yeah. here. <laughs> so, can you say free Tibet? Free Tibet. I was going to say that anyway. I know. It's, yeah, free Tibet. That's it, all the way. Thank you guys deserve it. Uh, being a Tibetan, what I think is, you know, I should inform the world that Tibet is not a part of China. Yeah, we need to free Tibet. Yes. We need a free land. We need to free Tibet. We need Human that. Rights should be there, right? Human rights should be there. The Tibetan people are dying. Alone. Yeah, we don't need that. We need to help them out. Yeah. They need to have a free. They need to have their free country. They are good people. They need to have their land back. In 1959, China People's Republic of China, they forcefully took our nations and um, forcefully sent us to the exile. Since then, Tibetan peoples have been uh, all over the world as in refugees. Hi, I'm sorry to disturb you guys. I have one question. Do you know anything about Tibet? I do not. You don't know, right? <laughs> Tibet is an independent nation which was occupied by China in 1959. After that, Tibetan peoples are all over the world as a refugee. So we are still refugee, we are asking for our nation, we are asking for the autonomous region, in fact. Yes, but China is not considering us and it, like 160 people burned themselves in Tibet since 19, uh, no, 2008 till now. Just because they want a human right in Tibet. That's it. So can you say free Tibet? Free Tibet. <laughs> free Tibet. Thank you. Any other message to China? Oh, we wish you luck. <laughs> message to China? No, you wouldn't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, China is, because China is a, China, China is a communist, China is a communist country. Yeah. So it's like, you know, they're actually taking, if you look it on YouTube, they're taking religion out of their, the Bible out of their country. And China's changing it for their own Bible. So they're making an entire country being atheists and there was a gentleman on there he says uh, he feels he doesn't know what the people are going to do because the Chinese government is taking that away from them by next year they're saying by 2020 they're going to become a cashless society within their country and they got cameras uh, Everywhere you turn, there's a camera, and they have a facial recognition on everybody within the country. So you're based on, uh, you know, like a credit score. If you have a bad credit, you're not allowed to leave the country, you're not allowed to travel, your you can't buy a home, your children can't go to better schools. So China's, China's trying to have that control, and they're trying to do that. He's, he's mad with Trumpy because he wants him to be able to do that here which we're a free country, and we, you can't do that here. But yet, they say you're free, but you're not free. <laughs> and that, that's the truth. Can you say free Tibet? <laughs> free Tibet. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Excuse me, can I take one minute of yours? Sure. Do you know anything about Tibet? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Do you know, uh, can you please tell us something about Tibet, wherever you know? 
whatever I know about it. Many years ago, I went to see the Dalai Lama in Central Park when he came to the States, and I was deeply touched. And I, um, I remember going to the UN and realizing that there wasn't anything there acknowledging them as a country. Yeah, so that's I know some things, and it makes me sad that a wonderful place isn't treated better. Tibet, actually, Tibet was an independent nation. Yes which was forcefully occupied by China in 1959. After that, Tibetan peoples are being scattered all over the world as a refugee. We are yes. still asking for our nation as an autonomous region. We are not asking for complete independence. Right. We are asking for the autonomous region. Still, they don't even acknowledge whatever we are yes. doing right now. So, that's it. Thank you. Can you say free Tibet? Free Tibet. Thank you. Since 2008 till now, a hundred and almost like 160 people burned their cell just to bring human rights in Tibet and just to bring back the Dalai Lama back to Tibet. Hi! Okay, so uh, this message I want to extend to the Tibetan community. I want all of you to take today to sit with your children and explain to them their culture, explain to them the struggles that you may have gone through in the hopes that your family can one day all reunite and enjoy everything that Tibet has to offer. In the meantime, as an American, I just want to say that the Tibetan community, we embrace you and we love you. And my message today to you is free Tibet.